Hello guys, so today we're going to solve a few problems in terms of this lesson called simultaneous linear equation. Actually, we have to solve them. And we consider solving linear equations simultaneously if we have two linear equations given as the problem. The solutions here we already have our Cartesian plane to sketch the graph and the table of values. This is the basis upon solving simultaneous linear equations. Our goal in solving such is to find the point of intersection between these two linear lines, I mean linear equations in the graph. We have to make two lines and find their intersection. So step, the first step we have to do is to find the table of values. I made two upon respective orders. The left here and the right. So it says here 2x minus y equal to 0. What we can do here is to find y. So our x will just have to guess any random number. Make any number actually. You can make 2, 1, and 0. And negative 1. With that, we can try substituting the variable x to find y. So, now we have x as equal to 2. This will be 4. Move to the other side for transposing. Then y is equal to 4. You may want to compute it in your own paper. You'll just have to do this mentally. Then x is equal to 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Move to the other side. It's negative 2. Divide by negative 1. y will be equal to 2. 0. x is equal to 0. Anything, any integer, or a constant, or a fraction, or decimal, multiplied to 0, or divided by 0, is equal to 0. That's a rule, an exponent rule of 0. With that, we have negative y is equal to 0. Divide it by negative 1, it's still 0. Take note of this. If x is equal to 0, y can also be 0. There is only about 50% possibility of having both variables x and y as 0, 0. We have negative 1 as x. Therefore, this will be negative 2. Transpose to the other side will be positive 2. Divide by negative 1 will be negative 2. You might want to ponder the difference of this and this. Positive 1 is equal to positive 2, as we have solved them in this linear equation. Likewise would be this. Negative 1, negative 2. Positive 1, positive 2. Now that we have the table of values for this linear equation, we might want to make a legend. The plotting points is color red. Color brown, the line will be. Or either way, you can use pencil since it would be hard and just in case you make a mistake, you'd want to erase it. If correction tape is used, it would be a disaster. Now, to move on, x is equal to negative 2y equal to 6. Likewise, just the same as this rule, we just find random numbers for x. And 
negative 1. There. It's better to have two of them in the same quantity. 2, 1, 0, negative 1. Either could be 1, 0, negative 1. Just put place any variable, that would be okay. So if x is equal to 2, transpose to the other side, it will be negative 2y is equal to 0. Divided by negative 2 will be negative 2. x is equal to 1. Transpose to the other side will be negative 2y equal to 5 divided by 2 will be negative 5 over 2. In this type of algebra method, these kind of lessons will no longer appreciate mixed numbers. So therefore, let's look forward to finding decimals or improper fractions. Mixed numbers are only for elementary standards since we just want to know the groupings of a number and parts of it. x is equal to 0, that would be nothing. So it will, it will leave negative 2y is equal to 6 divided by negative 2. Therefore, y will be equal to negative 3. Now, now that we have the table of values, oh wait, there's another one, negative 1. If x is equal to negative 1, transpose it to the side, negative set, um, positive 7, we will have negative 7 over 2. Let's find another color for intersection. This is just a legend. It's optional if you still want to make like stuff like these. It's just to resist our confusions. You can use pencil, by the way. Now they run up again. Okay, now let's move on to the real part. We have coordinates 2, 4, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Another one, 1, 1, 2. Zero, zero. And negative 1, negative 2. I'll also remember, by the way, this is the x-axis and the y-axis. Now that we have this line, I mean these plots, we might want to use our brown pen with this, with a legend. Just measure that. Make sure that the slope is still a solution to the rest, even if we don't plot the points of them, such as this. Still over there, still over there. We find the slope. There are multiple ways, but one way could be rise over run, right? M is equal to rise over run. 1, 2, 1. This is the rise. This is the run. 1, 2. So therefore, the slope is equal to 2 over 1. Or just equal to 2. They're just the same, okay? Let's move on to the second linear equation. We have the legend green color for plotting 2 negative 2 
1, negative 5 over 2. With this, we can present our answer as improper fraction, but still, mixed number is still a useful way only for ourselves to make life easier by turning it into mixed fraction, then finding the quantity here. So in as a, fric as a mixed fraction, this will be 2, negative 2, 1 over 2. 1, 2, then 1 half. That means here that every box would be 2 over 2. A half would be 1 over 2. 0 and negative 3. 0 is here for the x-axis. Negative 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay, nice and slow. We have our negative 1 and negative 7 over 2. Our x is here. Negative 7 over 2. 3, the 1 over 2. 1, 2, 3, there. As we have observed, in this part, our slope can be 1 half as the rise and 1 for the run. Our findings are 0 0.5 over 1 since it is rise over run. Either way, it could be equal to 1 half over 1. There. Let's try graphing it. Our legend says that it is color blue. Nice and steady. Make sure that the rest would measure the same. Half. Okay. By the way, just a friendly reminder. When you try using ball pens on using a upon using a ruler, you might want to, um, you know, just measure it lightly so that the ball pen won't be damaged. There. Our goal to recall again for solving simultaneous linear equations is that we find the point of intersection between the two lines. Remember that this goes to this table of value to this, this line. There. Then this linear equation is equal to this table of value. And according to this legend, it is this line. We have the slopes. We have the table of values. We have the graph. Our last goal is to find the slope, I mean the point of intersection. We'll use black so that it will be the odd thing of them all. There. Let's measure the coordinates so that it will be our answer. For x-axis, 1, 2 negative 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. Our answer here is negative 2, negative 4. That's our coordinate for the point of intersection. Perhaps let's just list it over here. Yeah. 
we have the coordinates negative 2, negative 4. In other words, this is the basis of a coordinate is x, y, right? So we, in other words, we can also say x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to negative 4. Either way can be answers. There you go. Okay, guys, we'll see you again next time. Thank you.